Clara Abel is a German student part-time studying international management while serving at a missions organization in South Africa. She is passionate about seeing young ladies and children, knowing their identity in God and experiencing freedom to move in the purposes of God for their lives. While her heart beats for missions in Africa, she loves being in the kitchen, always creating places for people to fellowship with one another and God. Today she shares with us how God gave her a deeper revelation of His love. A couple of months ago, I had the privilege to join a group of young adults on a visit to Egypt. Initially, I thought that our main goal was to encourage different believers around the country, but I soon realized that we were there to learn from them, not the other way around. Our leaders were an Egyptian couple who had been serving the Lord faithfully for many years. The more time I spent with them, the more I loved and appreciated them. Their generosity in blessing people with practical items like food and clothing left deep footprints in the hearts of local believers. During our stay, we visited many different places and ministries, and always the joy on people's faces when they saw them spoke volumes. Everywhere they went, they were greeted with gratitude and respect. I could not help but wonder about their little secret, for it certainly made them very fruitful in God's kingdom. One day, as we were sitting around the table, chatting about their experiences and the opposition they faced during their years of ministry, they shared something that really moved my heart. While they were building a Christian community center, their neighbors would sometimes report them to the police because of these Christian activities in the midst of a Muslim nation. They would threaten them in many different ways. I got very upset when I heard this and wanted to know how they responded to such unfair treatment. Their answer deeply challenged me. We loved them by giving them food and clothes. You always have to take revenge on your enemies by loving them. It was not the answer I expected at all. The world around me stopped for a while as I tried desperately to process the answer. And then I had that light bulb experience I've read about so often, for suddenly a mystery was solved in my heart. Love. God is love. And that is what people should see when they look at me. That is what should make me different from other people. So many times I find myself annoyed or unloving, egotistic and selfish. And yet in that moment I was reminded of the scripture that says that God is love. A paradigm was shifted and my thoughts started changing right there. And my prayer ever since is, Lord, teach me to love my neighbor. But even more important, teach me to love and pray for my enemy.